Hi, I'm Betsy Schneider, and I'm a faculty member here at ASU and one of the founders of the Online Digital Photography BFA program here at ASU. And I'm here to tell you a little bit about the program. You're here probably because you're taking a class or you've decided to become a major, or maybe you're just considering becoming a digital photography major. And I wanna tell you a little bit about the philosophy of the program, and then tell you a little bit about how we approach photographs and meaning. So our general philosophy is that we wanna help you develop your ability to create, analyze, and experience photographic imagery. The main goal is to provide high quality education around creative practice. We're gonna look at the way photographic images have been used throughout history and culture as a visual language. Regardless of whether you choose to follow a career in fine art photography or professional photography, this program will equip you with skills to be able to analyze pictures and understand pictures and participate in the visual conversations that are out there and ideally push the visual conversations in new directions. We're an art program and so our goals are to develop people as creative, independent thinkers going to encourage you to really think about what's important to you. What do you want to express through your images? And then how do you take risks to like explore what your ideas are? All of these things are challenges that we hope are going to be a part of this program for you. So let me talk just a little bit about the three ways that we divide up thinking about pictures as kind of the building blocks for understanding how meaning is constructed in photography. And the first is the technical, which is quite simply the tools that you use to create images. And the most basic tool for creating an image is a camera. Learning about your camera and how your camera works is really important. Software such as Photoshop is another important element. But one of the things that's important to understand about our philosophy is that we don't believe that, it, that tools make, make the art. Our classes are focused on the tools as how they serve the ideas. This program, because of the distance, because of the wide variety of students and access, and mainly because of our philosophy, will not be heavily focused on teaching the equipment or the software or the tools. We're rather going to encourage you to think about how the tools that you use work with your ideas. The second element is aesthetics. Aesthetics are quite simply what something looks like. The line, the color, the form, the shape, the composition. And aesthetics are often thought of as, as good or bad, or they connect to ideas of taste and style. But aesthetics also carry meaning. And instead of approaching aesthetics with an idea that there are rules, like the rule of thirds, which basically comes from an idea that there's some kind of general pleasing balance in a picture, and that can be true, but you don't always want a pleasing balance, or breaking these aesthetic rules can often achieve something more meaningful. So we're gonna stay away from simple ideas and formulas when it comes to aesthetics, and really encourage you to, to think about what the aesthetics do a beautiful picture can create, a, evoke a certain emotional response. A non-beautiful picture can create another response. And both of those can be really useful and create an experience for the viewer that isn't necessarily better or worse. So we approach aesthetics with this idea of what is the effect of the aesthetics and how do these things make us feel? How does it make us understand the content that's in the picture? How, for example, is a black and white picture evoking a certain feeling versus a color picture, a larger picture versus a smaller picture. So we're going to continually explore the way the aesthetics contribute to, to the ultimate meaning and experience of the picture. The third category that we divide things in is the conceptual, which is the ideas. And, and the, the ideas that the photographer or the artist puts in, the intent, but then the ideas take on meaning in a lot of other different ways too. Again, the tools and the aesthetics create meaning and the photographer doesn't always have control of everything. So you can start with an idea and the image will acquire meaning in other ways. So one of the things that we really encourage is developing your ideas, exploring your ideas, but then also being aware of where other meaning is coming from. And so in the end, we want to explore the idea of how photographs work and create 
meaning through the tools that you're using, through the aesthetics that, that are in the picture, and then through your ideas, and then the other ideas that people come to your pictures with, and how ideas can shift based on context. You know, a giant picture in a gallery has a really different experience than a small little picture in a, in a shoebox, or a picture that you see on Instagram that you're flipping past really fast versus say something that you open up in a book that you see over and over. So understanding that pictures have many lives and that meaning is affected by where a picture is, how it's shown, who's looking at it, their life experience. Um, and then as a picture maker yourself, how do you take those, uh, how do you understand that your pictures are gonna be read differently in different places? And how do you use that as a way to make your ideas stronger and clearer um, and, and more engaging. And ultimately, that's the goal of, of the program, to help you make the most engaging photographs that you can make, to help you develop yourself as a creative person, to understand visual language, to be able to give criticism to, other, to your classmates and receive it and understand how to participate in a critical dialogue, to stay away from this idea of something's either all good or all bad, but to really explore this in-between space and to really think about, about photographic imagery and visual literacy and how the photograph itself is, is the most used unit of communication on the planet right now. And to be able to make images that engage in that conversation is an exciting and thrilling thing. And we are thrilled to have you here in this program and looking forward to what you are going to contribute to the conversation. So thanks for watching this.